Francesca, tell me uh, the inspiration behind Data Art and Development. The inspiration. The inspiration comes from, well, first of all, from the heart. Mm -hmm. Because we love what we are doing and mm -hmm. we love coffee. We love coffee. That is the first step. That's then, why we're friends. Yeah, probably. <laughs> and then the second thing is because thanks to my job that I travel around the world, mm -hmm. I visit a lot of cities, so I just get inspiration to bring it to Italy mm -hmm. and to create Dit Artigianale, which is uh, international view with Italian soul. I love the shop uh, for many reasons, but one of the most, uh, I guess, colourful reasons is that you can kind of create your own shoe. So if you can explain that concept to the viewers, that would be fantastic. Of course. Something very special about Last in Florence is Last in Florence and Bijou started at the same time and Nadia's truly trailblazer and we're so excited that she wears her shoes. <laughs> uh, the concept is simply that we only sell flats made in Italy made to order to trailblazing women. Our fitting takes about 20 minutes. And once we work out your shape and size, if you have a perfect match, you can leave with shoes today. Otherwise, like you, you design your own. come to Mad Souls and Spirits, one of the finest cocktail bars in Florence, uh, to have a stiff drink or possibly two uh, by one of the best bartenders in town, Julian Biondi. Julian, thanks for joining us today. Hello. And what are you going to make for us? We're making a, a Rabino Midis, a rabbi once told me. It's one of our favorites, one of our best sellers. It's a simple and complex drink at the same time. Um, goes with a a uh, shrub of uh, raspberries and apple vinegar, so a syrup mixed with vinegar, and just lemon juice, a little bit of egg white for the for the foam, for the texture, gin. And a top of prosecco. Mmm, delicious. You're right about the balance, it's got the sweetness of the berries, the tartness of the lemon but it goes down very well, very dangerous drink indeed. Thanks for making it. From coffee to cocktail hour, there is something for everyone in the city of Florence. Uh, for behind the facade of the beautiful old palaces, there are a number of chic and contemporary spaces which you can also find in the city, run by some very inspiring independent retailers. I hope you've enjoyed a day in Florence with us today and uh, we look forward to seeing you back in the city. Why not end the night on a musical note with a bit of jazz? <laughs>